Hi everyone, I hope you all had a lovely week and welcome to another six round pub quiz. If it is your first time here, welcome to my channel. It's a really easy game to play, a six round pub quiz, and I'll explain all the rules and the rounds as we go along. I just recommend if you'd like to keep track of your score, uh, go and get yourself a pen and paper, makes it a whole lot easier. So we'll begin the quiz by revealing the answer to last week's tiebreaker. The question was, out of a possible 60, how many did uh, I and my team score our local pub quiz? We got 44, uh, which doesn't seem too high, but we actually got second place with that. And we just missed out on top spot by only one point. And the top prize was £100, so we were a little bit disappointed. Anyway, so many of you did guess close to that score, and it did make a difference to this week's leaderboard, which we will look at now. So these are all the single players, everybody who finished between 1st and 10th. So well done to you all. Scores slightly lower this week. It was a very tough quiz um, last week. So in third place is Jess with 58. Well done, Jess. Second place is Amy with a brilliant 61. Well done, Amy. And top spot is Louise with 63. Well done, Louise. Very good. So we'll move on to the teams, everybody between 1st and 10th. And there you go, some cracking scores from the teams. Really, really well done. In third place is Team Golden Wolf with 65. Well done to you. And joint first place is Emma and John and Nat and Skid, both also with 65, but just getting closer with that tiebreaker. So well done to both your, uh, both of your teams. Uh, I'd also like to say a big thank you to all of the players who played, liked, shared, and commented on the video. Really is appreciated. So moving on with this week's quiz, there are six rounds. Round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week, the double points round is a bit of everything. Round four is the pictogram round. Round five is the first lines of books round. And the final round is general knowledge. So I will give you answers after round two, after round four, and after the final round. As always, I hope you enjoy and good luck. So round one is the picture round. There are 10 pictures, people, places, etc. And you have around 14 seconds for each. Number one, can you name this TV or movie star? Number two, who is this from the world of music? Number three, which company has this logo? A nice easy one. Number four, who is this a picture of from when they were young? And number five, name the toy. Number six, uh, name the aircraft. And name this, uh, number seven, sorry, name the former wrestler. Number eight, name the film. Number nine, name the animal. And the last one, number 10, what is this a close up of?
So round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one. Jack Black and Kyle Gass performed a cover of which Britney Spears song at the premiere of Kung Fu for Panda 4 last Sunday? It was really good as well. Number two. Which box office hit of 1993 was based on a book by Michael Crichton? And number three, dashing and daring, courageous and caring, faithful and friendly with stories to share. All through the forest, they sing out in chorus, marching along as their song fills the air. Are the opening lyrics to the theme song of which cartoon? Number four. The Cyclones are the main antagonists of the human race in which sci-fi TV show? Number five. All four members of the Beatles were born in which decade? And number six, the logo of this fictional company appears in which Pixar film? Number seven, who had a hit song in 2012 with Locked Out of Heaven? Number eight, the majority of which 1988 film takes place in the fictional Nakatomi Plaza. And number nine, in 1962, who became the first male actor to earn over $1 million for a single movie? Which leaves the last one, number 10. Due to a tight budget, the masks used in the first two Halloween films were masks of which Star Trek character that had been painted white. Was it Captain Kirk or Spock? That's the end of the first two rounds. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I will go through the answers and round three and four will start immediately after. So the answers for round one. Number one, this TV or movie star is Idris Elba. Number two from the world of music. That is Kid Rock. And number three, the logo. It's the logo for Caterpillar. And number four, this could have been quite tricky. Who is this a picture of for when they were young? That is a young Justin Trudeau. And number five, the toy. I always wanted one as a kid, never got it. It is a Mr. Frosty. Number six, the aircraft. That is a stealth bomber. And they may have a more technical name. So if you know that technical name and you put it, please give yourself the point. Number seven, the former wrestler. That is Rowdy Roddy Piper. Number eight, the film. 28 Days Later. And number nine, the animal. This could have been quite tricky. It is a alligator snapping turtle. Well done if you got that one. And the last one, number 10, the close-up. It's a close-up of a toaster. So the answers for the entertainment round, number one, Jack Black and Kyle Gass performed a cover of which Britney Spears song 
and it was excellent as well. So they did such a good version. It was Hit Me Baby One More Time. Number two, which box office hit of 1993 was based on a book by Michael Crichton. That is Jurassic Park. Number three, these are the opening lyrics to the theme song of the cartoon, The Adventures of the Gummy Bears. And number four, the Cyclones are the main antagonists of the human race in which TV show, that is Battlestar Galactica. Number five, all four members of the Beatles were born in the 1940s. Number five, the logo of this fictional company appears in which Pixar film? It's by and large, that is Wally. And number seven, who had a hit song in 2012 with Locked Out of Heaven? That was, of course, Bruno Mars. Number eight, the majority of which 1988 film takes place at the Nakatomi Plaza? That is Die Hard. Number nine, in 1962, who became the first male actor to earn over $1 million for a movie? Marlon Brando. And number 10, a little bit of fun trivia. The mask in the first two Halloween films were from the Star Trek character, Captain Kirk. Round three is a little bit of everything. So this round there are 20 points available. The way that it works, you're gonna see 10 lots of two questions on your screen. Now the one on the left is worth one point and I think it's easier. The one on the right is worth two points and I think that's a little bit harder. So if you manage to get both of them, you won't get three points, you'll just get the higher. So if you do get the one on the right, you'll get two points for that um, set of two. If you get the one only on the left and not the right, you'll get one point. If you get neither, you'll get no points. I hope that makes sense. I have given you 20 seconds for each one. I do hope you enjoy and good luck.
Round four is the pictogram round. For those of you who haven't played, it's a bit like Catchphrase, the TV show. So you'll see an image or an animation that I've created. And at the bottom, it's, it's asking for the category that it is. So it could be a famous person, country, uh, something that you might eat. So the best thing to do is give you an example. So if this was to come up on your screen, you can see at the bottom, I'm asking for the title of a book. And from this picture, you can see the net trying to catch the number 22. The book I'm looking for is Catch 22. So I'm sure that makes sense. I've given you around 15 seconds for each one. I hope you enjoy. So the answer to round three for one point, World War I started in the 1930s. Or for two points, King Richard I was also known by what other name? He was known as Richard the Lionheart. Number two, clean and jerk and snatch are terms used in which sport? That is weightlifting. And for two points, a grand slam in tennis means a player winning how many major tournaments in a calendar year? It is four. Number three, the term renal refers to which organs in the body? It is your kidneys. And plantar fasciitis is an inflammation that occurs in your feet. Number four, the landlord's game was an early version of which board game? That is a monopoly. And for two points, in the original Wii Sports video games, how many different sports were there available to play? There were five. Well done if you remembered them all. Uh, number five, who hosted the television program The Joy of Painting? That was Bob Ross and published in 1925. The Trial was a novel by which author? That was Franz Kafka. Number six, which famous musical features Dancing Queen, Honey Honey and Super Trooper? That is, of course, Mamma Mia. And Can We Fix It? And Mamma Number Five were songs by Bob the Builder. Number seven, by population, what is the largest city in Spain? 
that is Madrid. And Brazil shares a land border with every South American country except two. They are Chile and Ecuador. You obviously need both of those for the two points. Number eight, which actress played the lead role in the 1961 film Breakfast at Tiffany's? played by Audrey Hepburn, and Travels With My Father was a comedic documentary starring which British comedian? It starred Jack Whitehall. Number nine, AU is a symbol for which chemical element? That is gold. And what is the only planet in our solar system named after a Greek god? That is Uranus. Which leaves number 10, what object does a male penguin often give to a female penguin? A penguin to win her over, it is a pebble or a stone. That doesn't work, by the way. Don't try that, guys. And for the two points, scientifically speaking, a cucumber is a fruit. So well done if you got most of those. So the answers for the pictogram round number one, the capital city, a difficult one to start. It is Khartoum. Number two, the sport. Drag racing. Number three, the saying or phrase is one in a million. Number four, the film and book is I, a robot. Number five, the actor. I may have caught a few people out of this one. It is Christian Bale. And number six, the band or it is an object is crash test dummies. Number seven, something you eat. Eggs Benedict. And number eight, the holy month is Ramadan. Ramadan. Number nine, the film. Magic Mike. Which leads at number 10, the song or dance is Cha Cha Slide. Well done if you got all or most of those. So that's the end of round four. Now the pictogram round is one that I do every two weeks and overall it gets really good feedback. So I had an idea for the next one in two weeks time. I thought it'd be fun to do an entire round with uh, pictograms that have been suggested by you, the players. So I know if I was at home playing this quiz, I would probably be thinking of little ideas and think, oh, that'd make a good one. So I have a Facebook group called Quizmaster Dale and anybody who's interested, if you join that group, if you have a suggestion and message me privately with your pictogram suggestion. And what I would do, I'll pick the best 10 or the 10 that work best for a round and create it. And at the end of, at the bottom of each question, I will put the name of the person who created that pictogram. So if you have a suggestion, join the, the Facebook group Quizmaster Dale and send me your suggestion. And we will now go into round five and six. The answers will follow immediately after and there is a tie break at the end. So watch out for that. Round five is the first lines of books round. I'm pretty sure you can guess what this is. It is you're going to see 10 first lines from well-known books and you just have to guess what that book is. Now, don't worry if you're dreading this round. It is multiple choice and I'm sure there will be some that everybody knows. So I've given you 15 seconds for each one. Best of luck.
Round six, the final round, is general knowledge. There are 10 questions and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one. What is the Papava Roes flower better known as? Number two. What are the two cities in the Charles Dickens book a tale of two cities. Half a point for each. Number three. Who did lawyer Johnny Cochran defend in a famous 1990s trial? Number four, due to ongoing trade embargoes and sanctions, there are currently no legal avenues to buy Coca-Cola in three countries. Name any two of them. Number five, which sea, located in the Western Pacific, shares its name with a computer language? Number six, born in Argentina in 1936, Jorge Mario Bergoglio is better known by what name? Number seven, Larry Page and Sergey Brin are founded which company in 1998? Number eight, which word represents the letter I in the NATO phonetic, phonetic alphabet? Number nine, which of these animals hold hands while sleeping? Is it otters or meerkats? Which leads number 10. The Industrial Revolution began in which century? So the answers for round five, number one, these are the opening lines in Pride and Prejudice. Number two. Is 1984. Number three, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Number four, is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Number five, is Slaughterhouse Five. Number six, I'm sure most people knew this, it is Moby Dick. Number seven, Gone with the Wind. Number eight, is The Lion, The Witch and The Wardrobe. Number nine, is Rebecca. Which leaves number 10 is A Christmas Carol. So well done if you got most or all of those. So the answers to round six, number one, what is a papava rowes flower better known as? It is the poppy. Number two, what are the two cities in the Charles Dickens book, A Tale of Two Cities? Half a point for each. It is London and Paris. Number three, who did lawyer Johnny Cochran defend in a famous 1990s trial? 
it was OJ Simpson. Number four, due to ongoing trade embargoes and sanctions, which name any two countries out of three that can't um, get Coca-Cola legally. So the countries are Cuba, North Korea and Russia. If you said any two of those, uh, give yourself a point. Number five, which sea located in the Western Pacific shares its name with a computer language? That is the Java Sea. Number six, born in Argentina in 1936, Jorge Mario Bergoglio is better known by what name? It is the Pope. Number seven, Larry Page and Sergey Brin founded which company in 1998? It was Google. And number six, which word represents the letter I in the NATO phonetic alphabet? It is India. Number nine, which of these animals hold hands while sleeping? It is otters, and, and the, the theory is that they do it to either keep warm or to stop them if they let go floating down the river. I think that's quite cute. Uh, number 10, the last one, the Industrial Revolution began in which century? It was in the 18th century. So now for this week's tiebreaker. Remember, when you post your score, please add your tiebreaker guess. It could make all the difference. So this is very, very lazy of me. But the question this week, same as last week, I am going to a pub quiz on Thursday. Out of 60, what will my team score? Uh, I'm only doing it again because I'm not doing anything this week apart from working on quizzes. So um, yeah, that's the only thing I'm doing to treat myself that I could think of an idea. So just one more time, uh, out of 60, what will myself and my team score at our local pub quiz? Good luck with your guess. So that's the end of the quiz. A huge thank you to everybody who played. I do hope you had fun. And if you did enjoy it, please remember to click that like button. It makes a massive difference to how my videos perform. So uh, just before I go, as always, I have a sh um, some shout outs to do a lot this week. So I'll start with the birthday shout outs. The first one, a happy 30th birthday to Petra. Happy birthday to you, Petra. Uh, another big one, happy 40th birthday to Emily. Not big in number, big in occasion, sorry. Happy birthday to you, Emily. A happy 55th birthday to Andrew. Happy birthday, Andrew. A happy birthday to Karen from Stockholm. Happy birthday, Karen. Happy 21st, another big one, to Dane. Happy birthday, Dane. Happy 37th birthday to Hannah. Happy birthday, Hannah. A happy birthday birthday to Rab. Happy birthday to you. Happy 39th birthday to Danielle. Happy birthday, Danielle. Now this is a good one. Happy 10th birthday to Sersha from Cork in Ireland who plays with her family every week. So happy birthday, Sersha. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. A happy birthday to Rob. Happy birthday, Rob. Happy birthday to Jessica from Sweden. Happy birthday to you. Happy belated 20th birthday to Aaron. Happy birthday, Aaron. Happy birthday to Brian from Lindsay and Miles. Happy birthday to you, Brian. Happy 20th birthday to Tony. Happy birthday, Tony. So that's all of the birthday shout outs. Just a few more. Uh, Martin would like a shout out for his partner, Louise, uh, who's been a rock for him. He's had a very difficult time over the last two weeks. So I wish you both the very, very best. And uh, it's obviously very appreciated, Louise. So good luck to you both. Also, um, Natalie would like a shout out for her partner, Dan, uh, who's been ill uh, for the last few weeks. Uh, they play against each other every week. Uh, Dan is slightly in the lead. So um, yeah, keep plugging away, uh, Natalie. And I wish you a speedy recovery, Dan. Uh, send in lots of love your way uh, i also need to say hello to the prospect girlies who play every week so hello to the prospect girlies love the name and another hello to Lindsay's cabin crew from norway who play the quiz whenever they're away so hello to Lindsay's cabin crew wherever you are in the world and one last one a happy mother's day to rose Humphreys. In fact, a happy birthday, a happy Mother's Day to you, Rose. Sorry, and a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you are treated uh, well, loved, and spoiled rotten. And uh, yeah, have a day of rest. I'm, I'm sure it's well deserved. Anyway, so that's the end of the shout outs. Thank you again to everybody who played the quiz. I hope you all have a fabulous week and see you next Saturday.